When celebrities reveal huge secrets on live TV, that unedited footage makes for captivating, shocking, and memorable moments for the audience. From huge spoilers to baby bumps to spilling the tea about others, these celebs dished big secrets on live TV. When Ian McShane visited BBC Breakfast in 2016 to talk about some of his then-upcoming projects, he gave up a little too much on Game of Thrones. When the host pressed for some juicy intel about Season 6, McShane revealed, I gotta bring back a much-loved character everybody thinks is dead. According to Vanity Fair, McShane probably thought that with so many dead characters to choose from, he'd be safe in giving audiences a little hint. But when McShane described his character on the show as Like an ex-warrior who's become a peacenik. Fans immediately recognized that description as closely resembling a character in the books upon which the show is based, one who's connected to a mysterious figure known as the Gravedigger, whom many suspect is actually the Hound. It just made perfect sense. Some of the men are a bit afraid of you. I'm used to it. Jonathan Knight of New Kids on the Block never hid the fact that he's gay, but he didn't make it front page news either. Former pop star Tiffany knew Knight was gay, but she didn't know the public was still in the dark about it when she stopped by Watch What Happens Live and revealed on the show that she dated Knight back in the day. Did you have anything with any of the NKO TV? <laughs> I did! I, you did? Yes, Which Jonathan Jordan? Knight. Oh, Jonathan no, Knight. the quiet one, the shy the quiet. one. Then she added, He became gay later. When asked if she had anything to do with that, Tiffany said, I had issues with that. I was thinking maybe I did, but no. After the show, Tiffany learned just how many people were unaware of Knight's orientation. Per Billboard, in a since-deleted tweet, she wrote, Really didn't know that was the wrong thing to say. Never meant to hurt John. Knight eventually released a statement via Toll Road, writing, I have never been outed by anyone but myself. I did so almost 20 years ago. I have lived my life very openly and have never hidden the fact that I am gay. While John Boyega wasn't directly responsible for dropping a huge spoiler on live TV, he certainly didn't slow the bleeding. All he could do was watch in disbelief as Holly Willoughby, the host of This Morning, revealed major information about the then-upcoming Star Wars The Last Jedi. According to The Independent, during the interview, Willoughby blurted out, And fans will be very excited because Yoda's back. Boyega's expression and response were enough to all but confirm Willoughby's spoiler. Holly, Holly. I mean, you can't tell the fans exactly what happens. Seemingly realizing her mistake, the host tried to walk back her words, and a clearly flustered Boyega did little to throw fans off the scent, saying, But, but this could be a red herring. Things I mean, happen. Get your ticket. Get well, your ticket. <laughs> leave it up to Beyonce to take pregnancy announcements to the next level. Leading up to her performance of Love on Top at the 2011 VMAs, there were rumors aplenty about if and when Beyonce and Jay-Z would start a family and how they'd announce a baby on the way. On the red carpet earlier that night, Beyonce was clearly holding her tummy in a few photos, indicating that a pregnancy was possible. But the real announcement didn't come until after her performance. At the end of her energetic routine, Queen Bee casually unbuttoned her sequined blazer to reveal a small baby bump. It was an enormous pop culture moment that set a new record for Twitter at the time with 8,868 tweets per second. In 2009, a six-year-old Colorado boy named Falcon, who was later forever dubbed Balloon Boy, became an overnight celebrity when news broke that he was hooked to a large helium balloon floating uncontrollably through the skies. But it turned out the boy wasn't actually attached to the balloon at all. Instead, he was hiding in the attic. At least, that's what the family told the press. But during an interview with Wolf Blitzer on Larry King Live, Balloon Boy seemed a little fuzzy on the details of that day. Did he hear you screaming out, Falcon, Falcon? Um, he's, he's asking Falcon, did you hear us calling your name at any time? Mm -hmm. After admitting he did hear his parents, the seemingly confused and put on the spot Falcon replied, Yes, sir. That, um, we did this for the show. It was an awkward moment that suggested the entire incident may have been a hoax. When Blitzer honed in on Falcon's comment to try to clarify, his dad grew agitated and declared that he was shocked by Blitzer's so-called insinuation. This is a hoax. It was a publicity stunt done with the hopes of uh, marketing themselves for a reality television show. Dylan O'Brien found himself in hot water after an appearance on Live with Kelly and Michael. While attempting to tell an amusing story, the actor admitted that he and the cast of Maze Runner's Scorch Trials looted an ancient Native American burial site during filming in New Mexico. 
The actor implied that a slew of illnesses and injuries on set were brought on as revenge for the thefts. He said the cast had been told before shooting began. Don't take any artifacts, rocks, skulls, like anything like that. And everyone just takes stuff, you know, obviously. A petition soon popped up demanding the return of those stolen items, garnering more than 79,000 signatures and an apology from 20th Century Fox. Still, according to the New York Daily News, the studio conducted an investigation into O'Brien's claims and found no evidence proving anything was actually taken. That also means that nothing was ever returned, so in the end, we may never know if this was a bad joke, a bad investigation, or both. Even if it took years for people to get wise to what Courtney Love actually meant in 2005 while on the red carpet, her words revealed a major Hollywood secret. During the event, the whole front woman was asked by a reporter to share some, quote, advice for a young girl moving to Hollywood. The rocker expressed concern that she would be defamed if she said what was on her mind, but continued. More than a decade later, Love's warning proved to be founded in truth. Weinstein has been hit with multiple assault accusations from women throughout the entertainment industry. When TMZ pulled that haunting quote from the archives in 2017, as the Me Too movement picked up steam, Love revisited that moment, saying, Although I wasn't one of his victims, I was eternally banned by CAA for speaking out against Harvey Weinstein. Actor Charlie Sheen joined Matt Lauer on Today to reveal a massive bombshell of a secret in 2015, admitting publicly for the first time that he was HIV positive. I'm here to, to admit that I am, in fact, uh, HIV positive. His reasons for the public admission were to allegedly counteract some behind-the-scenes controversy going on in his life. I, I have to put a, a, a stop to this, this, this onslaught, um, this, this barrage of, of, uh, of, of attacks. He claimed all the tabloid rumors about his health and the safety of those he had been close to needed to be squashed, calling them mercurial stories that, 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 that are about the, 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 the threatening the health of, of so many others, which, is, which is, couldn't be farther from the truth. Sheen revealed that after telling some people about his diagnosis, he was extorted to keep the information private. We're talking about shakedowns. I've, I've paid <laughs> those people. Sheen decided to take matters into his own hands and reveal the truth on his terms. Taking a page out of Beyonce's book, Cardi B used the stage to make her big baby announcement in 2018, wearing a skin-tight white dress that showcased her baby bump during a performance on Saturday Night Live. The camera panned out during the second song in Cardi B's set, Be Careful, to give TV audiences a good look at her big news. Thank you. Thank you. Prior to that evening, Cardi had been in full denial mode about pregnancy speculation. When TMZ alleged the star's team had been informing people she was pregnant, Carly snapped back on Instagram. No, I'm just getting fat. Let me fat in peace. However, even when Cardi took ownership of her news, it wasn't all smiles after the fact. In a since-deleted Instagram post via E! News, Cardi shot back at her haters. This is why I did not want to say nothing. People be so thirsty to scrutinize and try to destroy something that it's supposed to be a blessing. Nearly a year before Avengers Infinity War was released, Mark Ruffalo, the actor behind The Hulk, ruined the ending during a live interview on Good Morning America. When asked about Thor Ragnarok, Ruffalo appeared to be itching to share some intel. He finally offered... Let career. me just say this, like every other Marvel movie, it doesn't end well for the superheroes. He should have stopped there. But just a few seconds later, he blurted out, Wait till you see this next Leech one. Mark. Everybody dies. Do -do. Do -do. Don Cheadle tried to stop him, but the damage was already done. Can we rewind that part? Yeah, yeah. Can we re you'll cut that, that That's part. Not a year later, we learned just how close he was to revealing the entire surprise ending of the film, Hulk Smash. Before diving into this one, let's take a moment to remember the immortal words of one of the internet's earliest viral stars, Chris Crocker. Leave Britney Spears alone. We shall, but that doesn't mean we can't discuss how she casually told Entertainment Tonight that her one-time co-star Zoe Saldana was pregnant with twins before Saldana went public with the pregnancy. Any chance that you two talked about maybe possibly doing a movie again together? Um, who knows? That's a very good idea, but she's pregnant with twins right now. Yeah, record all the way scratched. Of course, this was in 2014, over a decade after the two starred together in Crossroads. And to be as fair to Spears as possible, she got a full pass from Saldana a few years later. 
Answering a fan's question about the spilled tea on Watch What Happens Live in 2017, Saldana took responsibility for the blunder, saying she dished the baby deets to Spears on a flight and never asked her to keep it a secret. Literally, and the way that it happened was so innocent that I, I never, never even thought of holding her accountable to anything. Saldana then added, she was just being Britney, and I, I loved her, but I don't mean that in a negative way. I yeah. mean that in the way that she lives her life in such truth. Britney never publicly apologized, and even though Saldana was clearly a good sport and fantastic friend about the whole thing, we still think the possibility of Crossroads 2 got a major red light. During the 66th Annual Academy Awards, Tom Hanks gave an inspired speech while accepting the Best Actor Award for his performance in Philadelphia. He recognized an old classmate, John Gilkerson, and his high school drama teacher, Raleigh Farnsworth, as, quote, two of the finest gay Americans I have known. It was that little moment, however, that seemingly outed Farnsworth as gay. With all due respect, this, this is preposterous. It, it, it doesn't make any sense. But Farnsworth didn't begrudge his former pupil. According to People, the San Francisco Chronicle had already done a story on Farnsworth before the Oscars that identified him as a gay man with his permission. But unless you read that paper, it was Hanks who spilled the beans. Farnsworth told People he was deeply moved by Hanks' speech, remembering, I didn't know exactly what he was going to say, but it was just overwhelming. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.